So many people don't know how to use a CGM or Dexacom or continuous glucose monitor or really have any idea what it really is. Um, a continuous glucose monitor shows you a graph of where your blood sugars have been over the last three hours. Now, mine has been deactivated, so it's not showing anything um, at the moment, but in three hours, when I come back, um, it will. So, how do you set up a, how do you set up Dexacom to work properly and to give you a three hour reading of where your blood sugars have been and where they're headed? So, this is how we do so. First of all, every package, I get a shipment that comes with a package like this. Um, usually there's three of them in a package. Um, very sterile, so that's why they're inside like this. Um, putting it on because it's on for seven days, you got to make sure that everything stays sterile. You don't want um, some sort of infection or anything to happen. Usually I'll open the package since I know it's sterile and I don't know what exactly I'm putting it on. But make sure that it stays on top of the package while I'm setting it up. Um, to start, you got to open up these edges. They usually come back like this because they were crunched into the package. So you got to make sure that those are good and ready to go. Now the first thing you have to do is pull off this little plastic piece. And find where you're going to put it. Usually I like putting it on my stomach um, so it's out of the way. It's small enough so I don't really have problems. Um, so I'm just going to stick it right here for today. It's going to be there for seven days. You got to rip the tape off. It's got like a sticky um, tape on it. And then stick it to your skin. And make sure that it sticks very well. Now, right now, it's kind of just hanging out. It doesn't hurt because nothing's inside of me. Move it around as much as I want to. But, um, yeah. So, next part is to insert the needle. Now, there is a needle inside of here. So, I have to push this tube down in order to make the needle go into my skin. So, I have to kind of pinch the skin a little bit so I have fat, um, fatty tissue. And as I'm pushing this down simultaneously, I have to pull this circle piece back, which cuts the needle on the inside and just leaves the little um, uh, Dexacom tube inside of my skin. Now it's inserted and the next piece I have to pull these two plastic pieces to release the big needle. Now this just gets thrown out, there's no sharp anything on it. Now I have a Dexacom sensor. This is what actually reads to my machine. So this needs to go in like that and you pull this little plastic piece here and snap it right off. And then, now that it's on me, that's all ready to go. That'll stay there. And the last thing that I have to do is actually start the sensor on the Dexacom. Now, I just go down to it and hit the OK button. And it'll say that it's getting ready. 
and now I have to wait three hours before this graph right now is gray. Um, it'll be white and then it'll have little dots where, um, bet hopefully between the lines, um, of where my blood sugars are. So we'll check back in three hours and see what happened. <laughs> the last thing the Dexacon is telling me to do it is enter two stand up blood Um, I just ate, um, and my blood sugar was 116 before I ate, and I just tested it now, and I'm at 162. So what I have to do is go down to enter blood sugar. So. Now, as long as this is within two, three feet of me, um, sometimes a little bit more, but it will show where my sugars are, right in here. And I keep it between um, 70 and 150. <laughs> 